Assalamualaikum and a very good morning everyone. Hi, uh, this is me Shafika. Today is 4th of December uh, on a Friday morning. So I hope that you are ready for our English class today. For today, you are, need, you are going to need your workbook. And then using your workbook, please turn to page 89. Okay, 89, 89. So today we are going to do two activities, which are activity one and activity two. For activity one, you have to listen and write the names. Okay, so activity one, they are given, uh, you are given a picture with six kids, the picture of six kids in the picture. You are going to listen to an audio recording. Awak kena dengar. Kejap lagi, Miss akan play recording. Um, in the recording, the recording will tell you the names of these six kids. Dia akan bagi tahu awak nama-nama enam budak-budak dekat pantai ni. Okay, so the names or the answers are provided on top of the picture. The first one, this one is the first answer given. Kira. Okay, Kira is a girl's name. Nama untuk budak perempuan. And then second one is Craig. Sherry, Alice, and Matt. Okay, at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then our other A, B, C, D, and E. So, 5 names and 5 boxes. Awak kena isi kan. Okay, kejap lagi dia akan bagi tahu awak. Budak mana yang yang lari-lari. Budak mana yang makan ice cream. Budak mana yang pegang pisau. Macam tu. Okay. So, please let's listen to the audio first. And then we will discuss the answers. Let's play. One. Listen and write the names. One. It's a nice day today. Yes, it's beautiful. Are these all your friends? Yes, they are. Who's that boy playing with matches? That's Craig. Craig! You shouldn't play with matches. It's dangerous. Okay, so that is answer number one. Number one, dia kata the boy who is playing with matches. Okay, matches apa? Matches adalah manches. Mana murid lelaki atau budak lelaki yang sedang main manches? This one. Okay, and then disebut nama dia crack. Sebab so, kalau awak dengar tadi, awak sebut nama dia crack. Crack, you know you shouldn't play with matches. Okay, dia kata awak tahu awak sepatutnya tak main, tak boleh main dengan manches. Okay, so that is crack. Let's listen for the second one. Two. Are you going to go swimming? No, I don't think so. There are jellyfish in the sea. Someone is going swimming. Where? Right there. A blonde girl is going into the sea. Oh no, that's Alice. Alice, don't go in. There are jellyfish in the sea. Okay, so next one, dia kata, uh, there are jellyfish in the sea. Jellyfish ni adalah obo-obo. So, mana gambar obo-obo this one? Dia kata, ada seorang budak perempuan lari nak masuk dalam air. Tapi, it's dangerous because they are jellyfish in the sea. Okay, kalau awak kena, uh, kalau awak sentuh obo-obo, dia akan jadi, kulit awak akan jadi gatal. Okay, so that is not advisable, tidak dinasihatkan untuk mandi dalam laut yang ada obo-obo, yang ada banyak jellyfish. Okay, so who is that girl? Siapa dengar bunyi nama dia tadi? Okay, that girl name is Alice. So, B ni nama dia Alice. Okay, good. Now, listen to number three. Three. Look at that. She's got sunburn. Huh? The blonde girl in front of the boy eating the ice cream. She's collecting seashells. Kira, Kira, go put your t-shirt on. You've got sunburn. I guess Kira didn't put any sunscreen on. Okay, next one is a girl who is sit standing, who is in front of the boy eating ice cream. Dia sedang berduduk, eh, uh, dia sedang berduduk, dia sedang duduk depan seorang budak lelaki yang sedang makan ice cream. And she is collecting seashell. Okay, mana Kira? This one, okay. Dia kata budak nama Kira ni, dia tengah collect seashell. So, collect seashell ni maksudnya kutip kerang. Um, so, 
uh, Kira is D. Okay, so this one is Kira. Okay, tadi dia kata Kira ni ada sunburn. Nampak tak kulit dia merah-merah? Kawan dia tak ada kulit merah. Sebab dia tak pakai sunscreen. Okay, kalau pergi kat pantai, berjemur bawah matahari, you have to put on some sunscreen. Dia macam sunblock supaya kulit awak tak merah. Okay, next. Okay, next. Dia kata ada this one girl nama Sherry. Okay, Sherry. He, she is sitting close to the fire. Dia sedang duduk berdekatan dengan api. So, which one is Sherry? This one is Sherry. Nampak tak? Dia, dia duduk berdekatan dengan api. So, dia kata Sherry, you know you shouldn't sit close to the fire. Tak boleh duduk berdekatan dengan api. So, Sherry is C. Next. Five. I'm hungry. Me too. What would you like to eat? I'd love an apple. Matt brought some apples. Where is he? Is Matt the boy cutting an apple with a knife? Yes, that's him. Matt, Matt, be careful with that knife. Okay, last kali, number five. Dia kata Matt is the boy who is cutting an apple using a knife. Okay, sedang potong apple menggunakan pisau. So, last sekali, this one. E, Matt. Okay, dia nasihatkan Matt. Matt, please be careful with the knife. Okay, dia, dia tak kata tak boleh guna pisau. Tapi kalau nak guna, mesti berhati-hati. Okay, dia kata be careful. Okay, so let's look at activity 2, number 2 dekat sini. Look at the picture in activity 1 again and answer. Okay, kau kena jawab soalan dia berdasarkan gambar yang kita dah sebut tadi. Okay, Miss Padam sikit lah gambar dia supaya nampak lebih jelas. Okay, uh, question number 1. What shouldn't crack do? Okay, shouldn't maksud dia tak patut. Macam hari tu kita belajar. Beza should. Should maksud dia patut. Apa yang dia patut buat. Dengan lagi satu shouldn't. Apa yang dia tak patut buat. Okay, tidak patut. So, soalan nombor satu. What shouldn't crack do? This one is crack. Ini adalah crack. Apa yang dia tak patut buat. Kalau kita tengok gambar. Crack is running with... Uh, playing with the matches Tadi kan So dia shouldn't Salin nama dia Crack Okay Kemudian salin shouldn't Okay Dia tak patut Play with the matches Play With The Matches Okay, number two. What shouldn't Alice do? Alice mana? Okay, Alice adalah this girl. Apa yang dia tidak patut buat? Shouldn't swim ataupun shouldn't go into the sea. Dia tak patut masuk dalam air lah. Kesimpulannya sebab ada jellyfish. Because they are jellyfish in the sea. So, awak hanya perlu tulis Alice shouldn't. Tak cantik pula. Macam eh, Miss Badan balik tulis nanti cantik. Okay, Alice shouldn't go into the sea. Okay, number three. What should Kira do? Okay, should. Dekat sini dia guna should. Maksudnya apa yang dia perlu buat kalau Kira. Kalau kita tengok gambar Kira tadi dekat sini. She is not wearing a, some sunscreen. Dia tak pakai sunblock atau sunscreen. Jadi kulit dia jadi merah-merah. Jadi for you to avoid your skin become sunburn. Untuk elakkan kulit awak jadi sunburn. Kena pakai sunscreen. Okay, so Kira. Salin balik should. Put on 
Okay, Miss Rasi kita dah belajar kan put on hari tu. Put on some sunscreen. Okay, next number four. What should Matt do? This one is Matt. Okay, uh, Matt, apa yang dia patut buat? Dia kena using a knife, he has to be careful. So, Matt should be careful. Dia, uh, kejap lagi kita akan tulis, Matt should be careful with the knife. Okay, number five. What shouldn't Sherry do? Which one is Sherry? This one is Sherry, okay? Sherry is the girl sitting too close to the fire. Dekat sangat dengan api. Jadi, apa yang dia tidak perlu buat ataupun tak boleh buat, tidak patut buat adalah sitting too close to the fire. So, Sherry shouldn't sit to do close to the fire. Okay, so these are 1 until uh, 5, the answers. Sekarang ni, activity 1 and activity 2 dah siap. Okay, apa yang awak kena tinggal last kali homework untuk awak? Awak, you have to record yourself reading question um, 1 until question 5 and answer 1 until answer 5. Okay, awak kena record diri awak membaca uh, nombor 1, soalan dan jawapan nombor 1. Kemudian, baca soalan dan jawapan nombor 2. Soalan dan jawapan nombor 3, nombor 4 dan nombor 5. Okay, Miss akan buat demo sekejap lagi. So, lepas awak siap salin, awak kena record diri awak menggunakan phone. Uh, tak perlu nampak muka pun tak apa. Tapi kalau boleh, uh, Miss kenal lah siapa tutup sikit je muka. Jangan tutup semua. Okay, um, tak perlu hafal. Awak baca sahaja depan kamera. Kemudian baca cepat-cepat dan dengan lancar. Lepas tu boleh hantar dekat WhatsApp. Uh, miss lah. Okay, uh, for example, Miss bagi demo eh. Number one, what shouldn't Craig do? Craig shouldn't play with the matches. Number two, what shouldn't Alice do? Alice shouldn't go into the sea. Number three, what should Kira do? Kira should put on some sunscreen. What should Matt do? Matt should be careful with the knife. What shouldn't Sherry do? Sherry shouldn't sit close to the fire. Okay, so you have 1 until 5. Baca soalan dan baca jawapan. Itu saja perlu baca saja tak perlu hafal. Sebab Miss akan menilai awak punya um, speaking assessment. Okay, akan ada penilaian lah. Jadi tolong hantar video. Video tak perlu panjang. Pendek saja pun boleh. Kemudian hantar di WhatsApp. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again in the next class. If you have any question, please ask me uh, by texting me per, uh, by WhatsApp personally. Thank you. Bye-bye.